Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And I just ran into an issue where I needed to add up numbers based on criteria going horizontally and vertically. And I thought, can I use some ifs for that? Or is there some other way to do that? And actually, the best way that I found, and maybe there is another way, but I use some product. Some product is the formula that you used to use before we had some ifs. So ifs with the S on the end. Um, anyway, it ended up working pretty slick, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you. So the issue I ran across just, just today actually was I had a client that had software that would track all the actual income and expenses in their software, but it could not track the budget. And so a lot of times what we used to do with this client is we would just divide the budget by 12. So it's easy to add the add the annual total and then add a multiplier in there and maybe put what month number it is right here. And you could go ahead and do that and it will um, give you something. But there's a lot of income and a lot of expenses that just don't, that it would be foolish to plan one twelfth every single month. And so here's an example is I just put together a budget real quick. And this is a, a very simplified family budget. But salary, I can I could assume the salary is going to be the same each month. Uh, my mowing income, probably not going to do a whole lot of mowing in, in January, February, and March. But that'll pick up and then it'll slow down again. Uh, miscellaneous income, I just did one twelfth for that or the same amount each month same with mortgage but utilities that'll go up and down as well groceries i put that mostly the same except for november and december i assume we'll eat a little bit more uh, vehicle expenses you know that's as good as anything vacation why would i divide that by 12 if i'm just planning on going on vacations in the summer and maybe around christmas time so anyway, this gives you an idea. So one thing I had to do, and maybe I didn't have to do it, but I did it anyway, is I put the month name up here, but I'm going to rely on this number up here. So the month number up on top. And then I have these categories here are the exact same as the ones here. So I just copied and pasted those in there. And so how would I make it so that I don't have to always change a formula to get um, to get just the January numbers and then eventually the January and February and then the February and March, uh, then adding April. How do I actually get that so I don't have to redo all these formulas? And again, this isn't a big spreadsheet, but imagine that you have maybe dozens of these lines to worry about and so do you want to risk making an error and throwing off your whole spreadsheet every single month you try to update it so this is where some product gets resurrected for a long time i've used some ifs because that'll let you use multiple if statements but it wouldn't work in this place where sometimes i just want the sum here and then here and then here it doesn't seem to work on these kind of arrays that are over multiple columns and multiple rows. So here is what we need to do. So we're gonna use some product and that allow us to, to pick um, criteria both vertically and horizontally. So here we go, I'm gonna go some product. And some product have been replaced by some ifs, except for some ifs, uh, I think you can just go in one direction basically. So open parentheses, open parentheses, so two parentheses. And now we're gonna select our sum range and I'm gonna hit F4 then to make that a fixed range. Close parenthesis, multiplication. This doesn't make any sense normally. I don't even try to think about it. I just know the format. So the sum range goes first and then a multiplication and then another open parenthesis and here's your first criteria. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our categories and I'm gonna make that a fixed, a fixed range. So F4 again and what and that needs to be is equal to, and if I go to my report here, it needs to be equal to that first one. And then I can go ahead and close parentheses, multiply by, open parentheses, and now we need to get our month. And what I need is any month that is less than or equal to April. So when we go back to here, here's our range. So that's why I use those numbers up here. F4, 
to make it a fixed reference. And then I'm going to say is less than or equal to the month of right here. And I see that it tried to add in um, a range there. I don't want that. So, but then I do want to make that a fixed reference. So I made it F4. So it has the, the dollar signs right next to there. So you can see that there. And then I'm going to do a close parenthesis. Close parenthesis. And I don't know what I missed. I must have, oh, I needed to have a one more parenthesis because of the month. So there's actually a bunch of closed parentheses, three there at the end. So now that says 16,000. So if I were to change this to March, you're going to see it automatically adjusts. If I were to change it to November, uh, it doesn't even matter what year or anything, but it's just looking at at um, the month is what it's looking at. So anyway, but that's correct. 4,000 times 11. So I'm going to go back to 4-30-25 as long as it's a valid valid month. So if I were say, to say 4-31, it doesn't like that. The 31st of April is not a valid one. And now all I need to do is go equals or copy. And I'm just going to highlight the next cells and paste formulas. So you can see it right there. And that'll automatically do it. So it says I probably sh was thinking I'd have some mowing income here, but I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I could just go ahead and copy and paste those formulas. And now I can quickly and see easily see that, okay, I thought I was going to be about 8,000 in the black by now. Obviously, this is a myth, um, fake budget, but I'm not. I'm only 4,000 in the black because primarily because of this, a big vehicle expense. So anyway, that is how you use some product for uh, to go both horizontally and vertically. All right, hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and attach this um this example file, I'll put a link to it in the description and hopefully it's helpful. I don't know if it'll be helpful for anybody, but if I forget how to use this, I'm going to go here to figure it out again. All right. Till next time. God bless.